everybody, my name is Jeff Welch. I work for CBG Biotech. Okay, I've actually had lab experience before, so any questions about laboratory, I'll be glad to answer for you. I worked in pathology for about 22 years. What we are showing you today is a two and a half gallon solvent recycler. This unit is totally self-contained. There are no vapors or rotors. Charcoal filter mounted on the side panel lasts for two full years, and it's a $30 item. You can place this unit just about anywhere you want to. You don't need a special room, no special ventilation. It's very portable, as you can see. This unit does roll very nicely. It has wheels down at the bottom. The only requirement that this unit needs is a plug, plugged into a standard 110 outlet, nothing special. Okay? All right. We're going to start with xylene, and we're going to do, have xylene and alcohol today. Do note that you can also do all the subsolvents. So any, if you have a lab that has subsolvents of any kind, our machines do recycle those also. We do vast varieties like acetones and other variances like that. Okay? Just so you're aware of that. We're going to start here. This is a Nalgene. Two and a half gallon Nalgene container. White Teflon spigot. This is to resist the solvent breakdown. You always want these white Teflon spigots with the petroleum based products like xylene. Okay? These are made by Nalgene. Um, the one thing we have developed, however, is fine mesh strainer. Filter out any particulars. Metal mesh. These should virtually last you forever unless you step on them. Don't step on them. These are really great, so what you can do is leave these in here, pour it directly into the container itself, put it on the machine, start it, and walk away from it. Okay? Limitations. Every xylene can be recycled. There's no limitation in a lab you can recycle, but you need at least to a solid gallon, which is this mark, and don't go above the zero mark. So anywhere in this parameter is fine. What you're going to do essentially is take this container, set it up here, and do this this juncture here and what you have is your safety straps here to help hold it in place for safety and then we have our fill line as you can see here this is our fill line just take that and let it rest up into the spigot there very simple ready to go what you're going to do is this machine is going to start and you're basically going to walk away from it what's going to happen is it's going to feed down inside this machine into a stainless steel tank wrapped in insulin blankets so there's no external heat only internal heat so this other nice doesn't heat up your walls or heat up your lab area whatsoever. It's real nice. First thing it's going to extract, your ethanol waste, the water and alcohol that's in your system, which is your primary contaminant of xylene, will come here first. This will be the only liquid waste you'll produce from xylene. Then your pure xylene here, 95% in volume, 99.9% .9 pure, many cases purer than your stock because it takes out the byproducts. And then the next question is, is how many times can I recycle my xylene? Forever. You will order some over time, but I can virtually cut your orders down by three quarters and your waste stream down by 95%. Then the final waste, which we'll pull around here, you can see, which is nice, the fact that this rolls, is this container here. This is your paraffin. This is a paraffin waste container. So any paraffin that's in your xylene will go into here because in most processors, in, in laboratories and staining lines, you have a, you deparaffinize your slides or you're cleaning out your processing tank. So there's paraffin in it. Where's the paraffin go? It goes in this container. And what you do is let that paraffin build up in there like a big candle. So in three to six months when it gets full, you discard that as you normally would your paraffin off your processor and replace the container. So you don't have to worry about it as much, which is real nice. Also with the portability with this machine is total spill containment. The trough at the bottom is a spill containment trough and will contain a spill. The other nice thing is this has no pressure in vacuum. It's a completely gravity-fed system. Very benign, very safe system. Okay? Let's go over the little operation. Real simple. Let's turn it here so you can see it. This is your primary operational point here. Manual attached to the unit will help with the operation of the system. 800 number, 24-7 customer service base. We're located in Columbus, Ohio. If you need us, we're there from 7.30 in the morning to 6 o'clock at night on the Eastern Time Zone. Tain time Zone. Okay? Emergency e-stop here. Everybody looks at that nice big red button there. It's there because it's UL certified. Certified to be safe in the labs. UL requires that you have the e-stop on the system. If at any time you want to shut this machine down, all you have to do is, and the machine is off. To reactivate it, don't pull it. Just turn the direction of the arrows. Pops back out. It does not lose program because it loses power. Very nice system. Alrighty. I know some of you it's a little bit hard to see, but we'll go over this. What we have here is xylene mode, enter to recycle. So if I want to recycle xylene, all I'm going to do is press enter. The next line is no to change solvents or aspects to other functions. Really all you need to be concerned about is to change your solvents. You want to do either alcohol or xylene or something else. 
So we're going to concentrate on that first today. That's the primary thing we're going to worry about at this point. If I want to change solvent, it says no to change solvent. So I press no. It shows select product, options, diagnosis, and settings. There's all these things in there that you, you see, but you don't have to worry about them. Basically, all you need to be concerned about is to select a product. Okay, you want to pick what you want to do, right? So, select a product. I want that. I'm going to press enter. It shows select product. It shows xylene because that's what it's set for. It says next to no to change, enter to select. So if I don't want xylene, simply just press no. There's alcohol. If you don't want alcohol, press no again. It goes back to xylene. And that's what this is set for at the moment. Do note that our systems are able to hold five different solvents at one time. So you can recycle multiple things with this unit. Okay? All right, we're going to start with xylene. I want xylene. Enter to select. Enter. Just reset your system. Now, this is how easy it is to run xylene. You ready? Okay. Xylene mode enter to recycle. Check containers. So make sure everything is there and is in place. Loosen the lid. You're going to crack your lid a quarter of a turn because it's a gravity fed system. Not enough for vapor to escape, for enough for airflow. Open the spigot. Okay. So I'm going to go over here, off to the on position, which is open. <laughs> and I'm just, I know this is kind of crazy, but just do what it says. And press enter to fill. You're watching me, right? Finger, enter. That's it. This is the noise it makes. I know it's real deafening, but this is all you're going to hear off this machine. Tonage doesn't change. This is it. And this now runs the total completion. The click you heard is the internal valve, which allows the product here to flow through this line and into the tank. And now it's on a filling timer. You essentially walk away from the unit. And I'm in, I have it in a teaching mode so I can show you what happened. It's going to fill. It says unit filling, all starts engaged, waiting for start. So it will start. Then all by itself it will start. It will operate, it will give you an operation time. Al xylene is an hour per gallon. Okay, so if you did a full run, about two and a half hours. And you can run this machine back to back. There's no cool down time in between. First thing it's going to do all by itself is draw the alcohol waste. The water and alcohol that's in your xylene, your primary contaminant, will come here. Out of a full run, you'll probably get a half a liter or less of liquid waste unless you have a lot of carryover. Then, it's going to draw the xylene, the pure xylene you're expecting to get back from us. No color carryovers or transfers, 95% in volume return, 99.9% .9 pure. In many cases, purer than your stock because it takes out all the byproducts. What you're going to get back is pure xylene, which will come back, of course, in this container here. Then, it'll open the waste drain, dump whatever can't recycle the waste, which would be paraffin. If there's no paraffin in it, nothing will go in the waste, it's not going to hurt the machine, it just follows its normal procedure. Closes, in the cycle. Now this machine has done this all by itself. You're not pushing these buttons, I'm just showing you what happens. So basically, once you did the initial start fill, you walk away from the unit. You could do this five minutes before you go home, any time during the day. It's not a problem. And you can run this multiple times back to back. Okay? That's xylene. Very simple. Do them all. It's the easiest one to do on the machine. Okay? So let's talk about alcohol next. We're going to take off our little safety straps. We're always going to make sure our spigot is closed for safety. Because there's always a little bit at the bottom. Now that is a normal blow the spigot amount. Don't ever tip it in the machine, please. It's graduated to be there, so if you had a full run, you'd overfill the unit. So just leave it in there, close the spigot, take the container off. Okay? All right. Then, our next change will be this. We have our, for solvent only, for alcohol only. The ethanol waste is the alcohol waste from xylene. Okay? That makes sense. So what we're going to do is take this cap off. We're going to take this off because this will be the ethanol waste that it returned from. We're going to find our recycled alcohol container, all labeled for you. And this will go right back in here. Go down these lines. And you see these lines? See the double lines? One is a product line and one is a venting line. So we're venting through the entire process. So you just take this, screw this down firm. Doesn't have to be rock tight. And then